Hey, everyone. We're live right now at Pace Studios with Ryan Bingham. Ryan, thanks so much for coming here, man. Yeah, thanks for having me. Yeah, and dude, congratulations on uh, on eight weeks of touring coming to a conclusion right here in this room. And then yes, uh, sir. home after this, man. Uh, thank you for ending the entire thing this way. We appreciate it very much. Uh, dude, sound check is sounding great, and I can't wait to share <laughs> it with, uh, with, the, with the internet right now. All right. Well, let's do this. Um, this is a song called Beautiful and Kind, and... Um, I don't know. Maybe I'll just kind of let the song kind of maybe speak for itself on this one. This road alone at night Why So lonesome Talking to myself to ease my mind Oh Lord The road is hardly beautiful and kind I miss my loved ones You know they were taken from me I miss my loved ones Nothing's gonna bring them back to me, oh Lord. The road is hardly beautiful, oh God. This world, now this world is causing trouble, y'all. People judging colors of skin People taking children from their kin No matter where you're from or where you've been Oh Lord, this world is hardly beautiful or kind This world oh, This world is causing trouble, y'all People hardly standing on their feet People shooting people in their sleep Begging for a soup bone to eat Oh Lord, this world is hardly beautiful or kind But I, oh, I've been a dreaming, walking down this road alone at night. Oh, I, I've been a dreaming. Gonna lead to love and peaceful times, oh Lord. It's gonna lead to love and peaceful times, oh Lord. It's gonna lead to love and peaceful times. So lonesome 
Walking down this road alone at night Why So lonesome I only have this dream to ease my mind Oh Lord I only have a dream to ease my mind Oh Lord I only have this dream to ease my mind. Right. Thank you. Oop. All right. Thank you. <laughs> beer down. That's all right. Not the first nor the last time will that be uh, that beer is spilled on this carpet, man. <laughs> Um, so this is uh, the the production of it. It seems like a, a Texas centric effort, from the production of it to the guitar that you're playing right now. Uh, can you talk a little bit about the importance of Austin to this project? I mean, would it have been a, a vastly different record if if it were recorded in Nashville or in or in New Orleans? I think so, and uh, I think part of it too is it had a lot to do with Charlie Sexton. You know, I really wanted to work with Charlie for a number of reasons, just. Um, Cause he's a great human being and I love being around him. Um, yeah, dude, he's but, coming here like yeah. really soon. And next, oh, next couple of weeks he'll be here yeah. in that seat. And another thing, just um, he's kind of from that area and real familiar with a lot of places that I lived. I, I moved around a lot as a kid, especially around the Texas area. And um, when I was writing this record out, I literally kind of drew a map of the country and kind of put pinpoints on different places that I lived and, the album's very layered just with kind of personal experiences growing up and just with things that have been going on around the you know in the world over the last few years and i wanted kind of different songs and different things to kind of represent different places that i lived in and kind of different kind of cultural things just within the state of texas that i really think um charlie would you know understood you know so whenever i called him and i didn't really feel like i had to explain what I was hearing in my head. I just kind of could send him the songs and be like, you know, I, he's like, well, what are you hearing in the song? And I'd be like, you know, this, it reminds me of kind of South East Texas and like the country blues and Lightning Hopkins and Mance Lipscomb and stuff. Or like, this song is like Terry Allen and Guy Clark or Towns Van Zandt or, or this is Texas Tornadoes and, um, you know, Intucable and Los Tigres del Norte from the border. So he just kind of, I think he just kind of really kind of got who I, I was and, and kind of how I was raised in some of those places. So that was a, a big part of it. Cool. Well, man, I enjoy it very much, and I enjoy what you're doing here today in the studio. And also, dude, in the other room, I've got to show you the other room because not only is there the, the John Coltrane tape over there, but there's a bunch of Lightning Hopkins and there's a bunch of Man's Lips Lipscomb. Oh, right on. From a, there's a club called the Ash Grove in Los Angeles in the okay. 60s and the 70s, and we've got all these recordings from there. And Lightning Hopkins is the most represented artist in that I would collection. Love there's it. like love 30 different Lightning out. Hopkins shows in there. Wow. Um, um, man, this is this is great. Do you thank you for doing this? And yeah, can you tell us what you're going to play second off of American Love Song? Yeah, this is a song called uh, Jingle and Go here, and um, I kind of wrote it about uh, cutting my teeth in a lot of these kind of road houses in the Texas area, from from kind of Texas down through Louisiana, Lafayette to New Orleans. I used to play in these bars all the time, road houses, and a lot of uh, times just kind of sitting in the corner with my hat down over my eyes and playing for tips. You know. Shake your dollar down in my cup and I sang the blues all night. 
all your friends Oh, you know well, That's love I jingle and go Great, dude. Thank you for uh, for coming here and capping off our Thursday like this. this. The day started out with a little dog, and that was awesome. And this whole day has been great. And I'm going to go see Mavis Staples at the Apollo. You're going to oh, man. chill out a little bit and be, be done with Staples. eight weeks. Uh, yeah, dude, this is great, man. Thanks for coming and doing it. Yeah, shoot. It's good to be here. You know, it's uh, it's not a bad way for us to end the day, end the day either. Yeah, good, good. Um, can you tell us a bit of, I know, I know that Wolves is coming up next. Can you tell us a little bit about the, uh, the, the backstory of, of this song? Yeah. Um, you know, I said it's like the, a lot of these songs are a bit layered, um, kind of just about personal things that I experienced growing up. Um, I, I moved around a lot as a kid and was always kind of the new kid in town, um, going to a lot of different schools and things like that. And, um, you know how that all goes of just kind of. Being uh, uh, the new kid in town, people are always kind of singling you out and, you know, you're kind of fighting your way trying to establish the pecking order and all that and dealing with, uh, you know, just those kinds of people, if you know what I mean. I do. Um, and a lot of it had to do with uh, a lot of the kids these days and seeing the stuff that's been happening with um, just the epidemic of gun violence in our country and these kids dealing with these shootings in their schools. You know, I remember dealing with like gang violence and fighting and all of that stuff, but it's just on such a different level now with all of this. And when the some of the kids and the organizers started putting together the March for Our Lives movement, um, you know, I was paying pretty close attention, and and I started hearing how people were responding not only to these kids, but even myself. You know, if you even were to talk about it, how people were responding online and the kind of kind of threats and the rhetoric and the like the the way grown men and women were talking to these kids really kind of took me aback and um reminded me of uh some of that stuff when I was a kid and just kind of that that thing and so I really kind of felt compelled to write this song and um you know I felt bad I felt like you know at a time these kids really need someone to listen to them the most, you know, I really felt like there were a lot of people that weren't and uh, just really felt inspired to kind of write this song, you know. It's called Wolves here. Sleep the sun away. Well, I was just a child. I knew I was afraid. 
There was no one coming around to save me from the free. I had to stand my ground and keep the wolves at bay. Well, I knew somehow it would come a day when I stood my ground, kept the wolves at bay. Could not take no more. I had my fear. Stars had faded from my eyes and run from looks that kill. And there was nothing to gain. I found but running the other way. I had to stand my ground, keep the wolves at bay. Well, I knew somehow. There would come a day when I stood my ground and kept the wolves at bay. The years have gone by and the calling carries on. Scars above my eye are still tender to the bone. No, I've settled down to hear the children say they have to stand their ground and keep the wolves at bay. Well, I knew somehow there would come a day. When I stood my ground, kept the wolves at bay. Dude, Ryan, thank you so much for coming here and doing this and uh, take a well, well-deserved break and uh, we'll get another beer if you want to. We'll Love go check you. out, dude, the Ryan Bingham <laughs> tapes in the other room are actually on, probably on the same shelf as the man's Lip- Lipscomb tapes. Right so. on there. We'll go through and check those out. And, uh, man, there's a lot of happy people on the other side of these screens. There's uh, Idaho is here. Texas, of course, is well represented in the Thank comment you section. Thank you, guys. Uh, and both sides in. of the border. Juarez is here. Uh, Norway is here. People are stoked. So thanks for coming and doing this. Um, and so you've just, just wrapped this part of the tour. Um, uh, there's uh, Western European dates in June. Mm-hmm. A number of them. Uh, you're back in the U.S. July through September. There's a lot of cool stuff in there. The Tell You Ride Blues and Brews Festival is happening, uh, and a whole lot of stuff. It's all up at RyanBingham.com. Um, man, best of luck on uh, on American Love Song, and thanks for bringing these three songs to us today. We really appreciate it, and do travel safely. Thank you. Thanks for having me, and thank all y'all for tuning in. I hope to see you soon out there on the road.